Okay, so it is really crucial because this month can actually change the history, guys. And it doesn't have to happen in this moment. Like what we are going to experience this month is going to have ripples in the future. And most likely we are all experiencing and starting to feel like, you know, when the tsunami is coming, we start feeling the storm way before, before it strikes. So we have been already feeling it since December, I would say. But most, the strongest thing, the strongest urge was like somewhere in February that really took place. So let's see what is going on in, in uh, President Trump universe. So, you see, he's trying to find where is the way out of that fog and he's looking for the promise because check this out these two cards are sort of connected and again we see this moon right this is this new moon new moons contrary to full moons are actually just the new beginnings where do i want to go from here you going and walking through fog it's not really easy because it's way worse than in the moonlight in the moonlight certain things can kind of appear different you don't have enough light to really know where you're going but you're hoping that you're going in the right direction you're hoping of this promise you're hoping everything will work out but can you get there with this kind of fog thick fog so i really think he kind of has to kind of focus this is a kind of call for strategy and call for kind of like going step at a time and maybe kind of lift to the next level. So I'm going to see if like, for those of you who are just seeing this without um, actually seeing the entire Gemini readings that kind of is shared uh, astrological sign, I'll also, also show you what Gemini's got for, for their own messages. So Gemini's are this month having ability to go on a completely new level. Gemini's are being called to um, basically go deep inside clean their own internal house kind of like you see turning in kind of period not to compare not to uh you know live some kind of whatever skin deep world it's kind of like asking for something completely refreshing um the rain the purification so now let's see what is happening with the outside and inside influences here so there is a lots of things that are kind of conflicting you see the joy is like nice to experience but can you experience this joy if you have those insecurities and we had those insecurities in the gypsy spread so trapped in fear is also insecurity where you really don't know how to go forward you see the eights and every kind of same number card is related and the reason is like you have a two and you have a two as well. So the reason why, you know, the eights are related because they're all coming back to power. They're all coming back to strength. This is all one pathway. So this is like that pathway of 44 that you guys had, which is also another strength card that you got. It's asking of you to understand that you're literally holding the world in your own hands. Are you going to be careful? Are you not going to be careful? And would you trust this person to do this if this person is trapped in fear? If this person feels like an outsider or is insecure? Sure enough, it's all easy for us to be taken when you have this joy and singing and dancing and it's really nice to be a showman. But it has to be some kind of essence. It cannot be really let's move and wing it from moment to moment. This is encouraging card, however. Silence is basically equivalent of the star card. This is like, this is the same path. The star and the power is like the same number eight. So we have overwhelmingly number eight over here, guys. So this person, Mr. Trump, is obviously very powerful. I can see that he's both liked and disliked. To some people, he's a source of joy and hope. Maybe some people see him as a lion. Maybe some people see him as very basic and aggressive as a lion. Somebody could can rip your head off. 
Some people do see him as a promise. Some people do see him as fog and not really knowing where he's going. So some people see him trapped in fear. Other people see him as somebody who is trying to go ahead. Can you see duality in everything that I'm seeing? It is kind of amazing. So the only card that is really standing out, so it's plus and minus, plus and minus, plus and minus everywhere, is only really this one. Because this one silence is the higher octane of the strength card. So you have to first be strong. You have to be resilient. You have to develop a thick skin. If you don't have a thick skin, you're literally going to get damaged with fog, without having a plan, without having this true strength. You really have to figure out what is important. And that importance and that ability comes from silence. Can you kind of go into this deepness? Can you kind of go and develop compassion for everybody else? Can you not take people at face value? Can you really realize all this negative chatter that goes in your head and disconnect from the world and see what is important? Can you stop comparing? It's going to be really the key in this period. So let's check what we got here as well. I think this was the last one. Yeah, this was the last one. Now this, this two, this one was the first one, so the second, this was the last one, yeah, that was in the order that I got. So now, these love attraction cards are being kind of like interpreted differently, but then uh, interestingly enough that I have a two here yet again. So two of swords is generally a really interesting card because it talks about, I, I, don't, I don't know how to make a decision. I can't make a decision, so I'm just going to make one, just whatever. So making a decision is better. So this is the power and aggression, but this is a power and aggression without strategy. Ultimately, this is the card of uh, the struggle. And it's a struggle in obtaining friendships, in obtaining aliases, and not having ability to kind of form strategy and form groups to fight a common enemy. This is talking about potential conflict at the moment when the dream shall come true. So we do know that this person has a Twitter as his own worst enemy. So I, I really think the best advice here would be to really kind of like reconfigure what do you really want to do uh, in terms of this? Do you really want to continue arguing with people or do you really want to kind of like raise yourself higher and be both the lion and this wise man? Because that's honestly the only solution when we have to marry these two different parts of us. When we don't compare with others anymore, when you kind of like go inside and first of all realize who we are and then we realize that we actually do have responsibility for the others as well and especially on that level I mean it is ridiculous I mean just personally I hear it's a little bit judgmental kind of thing I you know have business and I took one day off one day off yeah the last two days I was like in a vision quest but it was working one day off in the last seven months and I'm what just doing like a basic job this person is the president of the United States he's taking 17 days off I don't remember in the last 20 years that I did that I think I have responsibilities toward my loved ones toward my company the companies that I work for so just it's maybe good if he takes this time off that he's taking to kind of like do this work so this card here again talks about happiness so see there is a strife and there is a happiness and then we had the joy over here so it's kind of interesting because usually five of cups just show sadness in the other decks but not in this one in this one just talks about dreams of being loved dreams of reconciliation kind of like good encounters and kind of like really love from your family so he is going to possibly have the outer strife with the professionals not having a strategy but he is going to be rewarded from the inside now the full card is in this deck confusion it talks about thinking without acting and just simply not being able to define what your dreams are and hence look at you here here we have the kitty yeah it is so much fun but you know look we don't have 
we have both sun and the moon here there is like that duality over here which we kind of like do see him in in president trump now this is kind of like really this is not a family business this is not not a ma and pa pizza shop it's great that you have support from your family but you have to have support of your big family which are the people of the united states and ultimately the all the planet because like the most powerful nation in the world has responsibility for its actions so the rest of us shouldn't be really watching news daily just to make sure that we are going to survive another week and this is like why i'm doing this reading because i I actually personally feel that this moment-to-moment -moment thing is really not good in world politics but I'm really hoping for the silence to kind of like not to hear this Twitter for a little bit not to not to see somebody who is insulting people and continuously comparing people that happens when people are not securing themselves I do want to see a leader who is not only eight by 44 so this is the master number who can actually really create a better life and heal now this worries me this is basically the hierophant right and it is coherence but this is incoherence i i kind of like studied latin a long time ago but it says drew lex said lex i think lex is the law it is the it's hard because it's the law or means something like that i can google it but i kind of get it meaning like you have to do the right things you just cannot kind of wiggle it around it. So somebody here is not doing the right things. So if if so, if he wants his, his dreams to become reality, he needs to verify that there are no contradictions between what he does and what he says, because the true the the words have to follow be followed with consistent actions. And I think this is pretty much probably the key of that reading for him. So let's see if this person is able to have his commitment to heal, maybe in this time off, to regain his strength, to kind of like feel compassion for the everybody else and try to do the right thing. So guys, this is it. I hope you liked it. And I hope, you know, you're going to give me your comments. That is really meaningful. This is a big job. So I really want to see if this is helpful to you. And lastly, please uh, subscribe, share, like, and visit me on my Facebook. I wish you all the best. And I'm looking forward to your comments and to chatting with you. And if you want a private reading, please contact me via my website. Wish you all the best. I love you, Geminis.